And following the series of high-level and working-level talks held between the two Koreas last month, more inter-Korean meetings are lined up this week as well. Representatives of Seoul and Pyongyang are meeting to discuss cooperation in various fields ranging from sports, forestry, infrastructure and preparations for reunions of the separated families. Now, our Cha sang tells us more. Seoul and Pyongyang have been extremely busy since their landmark summit in April, and efforts to follow through on the Panmunjom Declaration are continuing in July. A hundred-member South Korean delegation led by the nation's unification minister Cho myung is heading to Pyongyang on Tuesday for four inter-Korean basketball games scheduled for Wednesday and Thursday. The group includes Minister Cho, four other government officials, 50 male and female basketball players, and a panel of referees, 30 members of the press, and 15 staff. This will be the fourth time the two Koreas have played basketball together. The last time was 15 years ago in 2003. Seoul and Pyongyang have agreed to hold the friendlies while discussing sports cooperation last month. At those talks, they also decided to field a joint women's basketball team at the upcoming 2018 Asian Games in Indonesia in August. Come Wednesday, the two Koreas will also sit down to discuss forestation projects. Yu gwang vice minister of the South Korean Forest Service, and two other officials will meet their North Korean counterparts and discuss ways to tackle the degradation of forests in the north by overlogging and farming. The Forestation Task Force was the first to be launched after the April 27th Panmunjom Summit, South Korea's presidential office deeming forestation the most urgent thing. Meanwhile, discussions continue on infrastructure. The joint inspections of the Gyeonggi Road linking Seoul and the North Korean city of Shiniju and the Dongye Road along the peninsula's east coast will begin in mid-July. Preparations also continue for reunions of families separated by the Korean War. Those are scheduled for a week starting August 20th at the North's Mount Kumgang Resort. On July 25th, the South and North will exchange lists of people who will possibly attend the reunions. But first, South Korean government will narrow them down to 250 people out of an initial 500 that were selected. Once the lists are exchanged, they will come up with a final list of participants, 100 from each side, by August 4th. Cha Sang-mi, Arirang News.